The Tyvee Antlers hadn't lost a district game since 2008. Coincidentally, that was the last year they shared a district with Alamo Heights. Friday night, the Mules came to Kerrville with the notion of picking up where they'd left off, beating Tyvee in district play. The game started off going to script for the Mules, who had forced an early Kerrville turnover to set up an Alamo Heights touchdown. They added a field goal later that quarter to give themselves a 10-point lead, but then Kerrville came charging back. Tightening up their defense, the Antlers got their ground game going with Will Stuckey touchdown that closed the deficit to three. The Antlers defense then forced two turnovers on downs by the Heights offense, the second of which set up a Kerrville scoring drive, capped by a quarterback Parks McNeil touchdown run. As the first half neared its close, Tyvee intercepted Alamo Heights and followed it up with a 48 Brad Mitchell field goal, giving the Antlers a 17-10 lead at the half. The momentum seemed in Tyvee's corner, but it was Alamo Heights that asserted its will after the break, scoring 21 unanswered points to take a 31-17 lead. Hoping to spark a comeback, Tyvee drove to the Mules' goal line where, on fourth and short, the Antlers threw a fade to the end zone. The catch was ruled out of bounds, a controversial call that proved costly. The Antlers scored on their next drive, closing the hole to seven, but Alamo Heights secured the onside kick, sealing the game. For more on the story, read Saturday's edition of the Kerrville Daily Times. This has been Kenny Ryan of the Kerrville Daily Times reporting.